So earlier today, I made a video saying how impressed I was with Palestinian faith because it just seems that Palestinians have this ironclad faith, even in the face of losing quite literally everything. And people were commenting underneath saying, well, yeah, girl, that's Islam. Have you read the Quran? You should probably read the Quran. And I have time. And I was also curious as to what, how, how, even in at, facing genocide, is Palestinian faith so strong? And so I decided to go on script to see if there was an audiobook version of the Quran. There is. And so I started listening straight off the bat when I'm a fan. There is no introduction. I even thought that I, I accidentally skipped over something because it gets straight to it. Like there is no once upon a time. <laughs> there is no in the beginning. There is none of that. It was like, all right, if you do this, then this happens. If you do this, like it gets straight into it. And by the way, if you are Muslim, I hope I'm not being disrespectful. This is just my experience in reading the Quran for the first time. I'm on, I'm on like chapter four of like 117. But I found some things very interesting. Like first it said, oppression is worse than murder. And I was like, that's a word. And then it was saying, um, it was talking about divorce. And I didn't know divorce was allowed. Divorce is allowed in the Islamic religion or Islam religion. And it was saying how if you're a woman and you get divorced, you have to wait three periods. I don't know how long a period is, but you have to wait three periods. And then it's, you're okay to remarry, girl. Like, go find your husband. And it was saying if you're a dude and you divorce your wife and you haven't touched her yet, but you promised her a dowry, you still got to pay half that shit. I was like, feminism. And then there was um, a part in there that I was surprised about. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like the Christian religion where um, if somebody slaps you, you got to offer your other cheek and everything because that always bothered me. Like I'm like, if I, if somebody slaps me, I should be able to slap them back. In the Quran, it says, if somebody fights you, you fight them back. Like if whatever they do to you, you do to them. And I'm 